adding patterns to a shape in Pixelmator Pro. Select the shape in the layers panel. With that selected, go over here and select the style tool. Click there. And then you can go down here and you've got a number of options. Fill and you've got color, that's the default. But you can also set it to pattern. With pattern, you can now change the scale. You can change, modify it in all kinds of different ways. Angle, as well as opacity and blend mode. But also what we can do is choose. Select a different file. This one is gonna be a design I created earlier, a space design. So click import and you've got that. Well, what you can also do is you can then reposition it. So you can just click here, just a little click there and you get this. And then you can just simply move it around, reposition it, change the scale. Maybe decide to go for 50% and so on to create a slightly smaller design. But also go here on this long here and hold down the alter option key and drag and you get a little plus. That duplicates that pattern. However, obviously at this point, I want to change the scale. So I'm just going to reduce it down, maybe to 32, 35, whatever. Change the angle. But also I can change the opacity here. And put it down to maybe reduce it down to 50%. And then you can see the other pattern. And you can push it back again. You can also go to here and click difference, luminosity, and so on. I want to go with difference for dramatic effect. But you can still move this around, so click here, and again, reposition it. And as you move it around, you can see you get a variety of different designs as you move it around. Again, you can modify the scale to make it slightly bigger and much, much more. At this point, see there's no color in this. Obviously, it depends on the image you've selected. My one was black and white, but yours might be green, blue, etc. If you want to add some color, simply go here to the fill again, hold down the option key and drag again. You've got this plus. And then you can go here, instead of pattern, you can go for maybe gradient. And you've got this blend mode still set to difference. You can of course set it to something else. You don't have to go with that. Maybe go with dark color. But also, instead of that, you maybe decide to go for color instead, and so on. A variety of different options are available as you do this. Maybe darken, maybe change the opacity, and so on. Loads and loads of different color effects can be added that way. But also what you can do, you can go up here and add style. Now I'm not gonna add it to this one, because you've got a number of ones here, vibrant, etc. I'm gonna create a new category for it, or collection. So just click here, and you've got there, new collection. New collection, you get this. You can rename it, so click here, rename. I'm just gonna go for patterns, one, and rename. Well, I can click here and add it. You can see by default, it's actually added it already, which means I can use it, obviously, for future shapes. So if I remove this shape now, let's just select that, and delete it. I can now go and select a different shape. Let's just go for something like oval, and so it's going to use exactly the same one. But say you go and select a different style. So again, with this selected, go here, maybe vibrant colors, select that. Any point, you can always go up here to patterns and then again, select that to get your design back. You can then still continue to modify it and also add additional patterns as well as gradients and colors to that, to the 